watch this video. I'm sorry it's been a little bit of a while, but welcome to your 2018 year ahead forecast and overview astrologically and general guidance. I really felt this strong need to reconnect with you because it's been such an intense year and I just wanted to get, you know, just, just get a feeling of what sort of year you've had this year. So write me a comment underneath the, the video and just connect, just reconnect, let me know you're out there, say hi, um, let me know how the video resonates for you. I appreciate and love all of those communications with you and um, and also let's look ahead to 2018 which is going to be another powerful year. I feel very very strongly um, guided to say that this, all these shifts and changes that are happening as we know are pulling us onto the right path, they're pulling us into our power, they're taking us out of situations or ways of seeing things that are disempowering, they are moving us into a very very strong position where we can begin to share our light, express our truth and be divine channels and if that doesn't resonate for you and you've just come for a regular reading then you know just bear in mind that everyone is experiencing a shift at their own level of understanding and for you it might be that you you've changed at home or you've changed your changed your job or you relationships around you are changing family circumstances are changing things are just suddenly up in the air and transforming in a dramatic way and um, and you're wondering why why things are changing and maybe you've come here because you're looking for answers maybe things just seem very smooth for you but you're finding that people around you are having awakenings or their lives are changing or things are, uh, seem quite dramatic anyway this video is for anyone who has come looking for guidance for the year ahead in the context of all of these shifts and changes that are happening to all of us. So I hope you enjoy the readings. I've been asked to focus on three main areas by my guides when it comes to the astrology. The place that Saturn is leaving um, in the chart, the place that Saturn is moving into, and where Jupiter supports, uh, you know, the, the place of good fortune. So where Jupiter is going to be. So in some area for all of us, there will have been a maturing, there will have been a growing up, and that will have prepared the way for us to move into a, a deeper understanding of the next phase of our lives. And that's what we're just about to move into now. And we want to also look at where we are going to be most fortunate in taking that learning on board and really flourishing and blossoming and growing our lives in 2018. So those are the three aspects we're going to be looking at, um, the three movements, the three elements that we're going to be looking at. And then I'm going to pull some cards, some of my favourite decks I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using my insight as well. And um, I also want to let you know my year ahead readings are available on my website. I'll leave a link under the channel. I might be doing some exciting and interesting things on Facebook. Facebook live as well soon long promised and I'll leave a link under the video as well and that's it I would encourage you to check your ascendant as well because I'm going to be looking at things very much on a house by house basis so it's going to be very important for you to be working from you know your ascendant as well as from your sun sign so I think that's everything have a fantastic year and if you're watching this before the year is over, I hope you're having a great Christmas or whatever you celebrate at this time of year. I hope you're having a great one of those. Have a fantastic holiday season and have a nice break, hopefully. And yeah, wishing you all the very best for the coming year ahead. Come back to this video and watch it as often as you like. And um, yeah, as I say, keep the uh, dialogue going. Let's comment, you know, share um, ideas and... and um, feelings about the times that we're going through and how we're shifting and how we're changing and evolving and what you actually currently believe about where we're moving to. Do you still believe that um, peace is possible? Do you still believe in utopia? Do you still believe that your life is moving in a positive direction? And is there anything that I can help you with? Okay, so yeah, that's quite a lot for now. Enjoy, take care, peace, and I'll speak to some of you soon. Hello lovely Taurus, so this is your year ahead for 2018 
and it's been a very interesting year for all of us. Um, it's been quite an intense year for many of us. For you, you've had Saturn in your eighth house and it's now moving into your ninth house. So it's going to be moving away from that place of deep intimacy, understanding your boundaries. I think also that means self-care because when I think about intimacy and boundaries together, I think of being able to say no to things that you don't want so that you can really take care of yourself and knowing when it's okay for you to open up, knowing when you feel good about opening up and letting not just another person in, but other people in generally. A lot of people who come to these, um, come to my channel are empaths, they're intuitives, they're very sensitive, and this has been a very important um, skill. It's always, it's ongoing, it's an important skill for us to learn, that sometimes you need to be able to feel okay about going inside yourself and saying, okay, I need this time and space now to heal, to recharge myself, to just feel good about being here again, to feel good about my work again, to feel good about who I am again, and to feel good, to feel great about the people I do love and do want close to me and want around me again. So you've had to learn that. You've had to learn how to balance all of those energies. And, and also, you've had to learn a great deal of maturity about when to do that, how to do it, um, you know, being able to do it in a nice way, in a way that's gentle, in a way that's easy, rather than letting people in, letting people in, letting people in, and then suddenly feeling like, oh my God, I've got to get all these people out of my energy, out of my space. You've been learning how to temper that, how to balance it, how to measure things out much more. And also, the eighth house is the, eighth, is the house of big money and investments and insurance and taxes and loans and bursaries and grants. So it could be also that you've learnt a great deal of maturity when it comes to managing your money, having a long-term view of your, your financial situation and of your all the things that support you in creating your legacy. So now that you've reached a degree of, of maturation with those elements, you are going to be able to focus a little bit more on what you believe. You're also going to have a much firmer foundation from which to expand, to expand your life, to expand your heart, to expand your vision, to expand your work even. So you're going to have the backup, you're going to have more of a solid foundation because you've learned how to take care of yourself and you've learned how to take care of your resources. So well done Taurus, it was a tough one I feel for a lot of Taurians but you got there and so now it's like I can see the image I'm being shown is it's like the sun coming out and there's just this infinite light and expansion and so I feel that Saturn in Capricorn is going to be nice for you yes okay it's a fellow earth sign so it is going to be a lot nicer and also Saturn quite likes to be there so it's going to be really really nice for you in a really solid way as a you know solid expansion is the phrase that I'm hearing You've also got Jupiter. Jupiter was in your sixth house, so you were analysing your day-to-day -day reality as well and thinking, probably wondering, how does your day-to-day -day reality support you in terms of being able to take the time and space you need to rest, to have the boundaries in place that you need to, for the deep self-care, and yet also take care of your financial security and your long-term goals and your firm foundation and all of these things. How does your day-to-day -day reality support that? So you might have had to juggle things around, change things around, reprioritize, um, learn new things, increase your understanding around all of those areas. And now you've got Jupiter going into the seventh house. So because you've done all of that growing up in those areas, perhaps now you feel ready to take on a partnership. It could be that you're ready to involve someone else in your work, or it could be, okay, now I'm ready to look at the possibility of finding a marriage partner. Or now I can devote, if you're already coupled up, now I can devote more time to my partner. It might also mean that you are ready to look at how to really partner yourself because the foundation of that has been improving your boundaries and that was basic that had to happen for you to not feel exhausted all the time and now maybe you can think start to think 
okay, I've got something to give now. I've actually got something to give. So maybe you've been searching and seeking on your own for a while and you're feeling like, maybe maybe I could let someone in, in now because maybe now I, I know how to manage, um, you know, other people <laughs> in terms of becoming close, becoming intimate in, in terms of letting people in without feeling it's going to disrupt my whole life, my experience, my um, my mission, my vision and my emotional sense of myself. So I hope that all makes sense for you Taurus. Let's have a quick look and see what the cards say. And I'm being drawn straight away to the Archangel deck. I'm using three decks for these readings. So I'm using um, the Archangel deck first in your case, and I'm just going to ask past, present and future, and beginning, middle and end of the year. So, past, present, future, and beginning, middle, end of 2018. Okay, past. Alright, so in the past, you've been increasing your... Um, ability to listen, to listen to yourself intuitively, to listen to your gut, what your gut's saying about things, about people, about choices, about decisions. Um, you also, for some of you, you will have been noticing a, um, an increase in clear audience. The card is clear audience. It's Ar Archangel Zadkiel's card, and it says, "Notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind from." or from other people so lots of coincidences synchronicities like you'll hear a song you know or you'll hear something a conversation on the on the radio or something that just gives you a little bit of guidance that you need at just the right time so you've had a lot of that a lot of synchronicities but most of all you've learned to listen to yourself i feel and that's been really important it has increased your judgment and that will will have helped you as well in terms of becoming more mature healthy lifestyle where you are at the moment looking at healthy lifestyle changes um looking at maybe your diet where it might have gone a little bit awry with all these um the pressures of last year and the changes and thinking okay i really need to take this on board now in fact i've got a feeling for some of you you might have already started to do that in the autumn like you know, from September onwards, um, just, I know it's not autumn for everyone, but say towards the end of last year, of 2017, just thinking, I need to enrich myself, I need to give back to myself now, I need to feel stronger within my body if I'm going to achieve everything that I want to achieve. And moving into the future, you're looking at a great idea that you've got, that you will <laughs> I'm being told to say you will be putting into practice in 2018. I feel so, therefore, because they've put it like that, that for some of you it would have been something that you've been putting off and putting up and thinking, okay, this year I'm going to do it. I'm definitely going to do that this year. This is the year. And so for a lot of you, there's going to be a culmination of something. For some, it will be a lifelong dream or a lifelong intention or something that you've wanted to do for years and it's a great idea but for some reason it doesn't seem to have had the push or the support or all things coming together at the right time 2018 could be the year when things start to come together of course as with anything it's not a prediction it's an attempt to empower you to feel positive because nothing's going to happen unless you make it happen okay so the first part of the year clear sentience sensitivity is still there. There's still a need to keep noticing those little nudges that come from inside you, to keep noticing what you feel. If you really, really feel disconnected from something or someone, or upset, or angry, or tired, or, you know, it's time to take it on board, to really take note of it, and to really allow those feelings to influence your decision making really important now more than ever because to make the most of the year ahead you have to honour what you learn about your own personal boundaries. Okay, you are safe, Archangel Michael reassuring you that you are safe. So the middle of the year could be an interesting period in terms of 
I've got some big decisions to make. Am I going to be okay? Do I trust myself to do this? Can I trust the situation? Can I trust um, you know, the, 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 um, the team that I've got, all the people around me? Can I trust this new work situation? Can I trust myself in relationships? Whatever it is that you're worried about, there's a reassurance there that you are safe and that you've learnt a lot about yourself so you can at least trust yourself even if you don't trust that you're safe. I hope that makes sense. And then a big career transition that you, I feel, will be moving towards throughout the year. It kind of comes to some kind of a, a crescendo, a high point um, towards the end of next year. So kind of, I suppose it would be August, September, October, even sort of starting later than that. But it's all as a result of what you do, the work you put in. And you could be in for some surprises. Some of it, though, will absolutely not be a surprise. It will be based on this idea that you have. But the surprise could be how well it takes off and that you actually have much more going for you than you realise at the moment. So the advice is to go for it. Absolutely. And I'm going to pick, um, these are tarot scopes, so I'm just going to pick one card as your overall um, tarot message um, from the John Holland Psychic Tarot, and I'm being told that's enough. So, solar plexus chakra. Okay, so for me that's about, very much ties in with these cards here, trusting yourself, noticing those impulses, noticing what you hear, what your gut's telling you, noticing what you feel, what your sensitivity is telling you, and not allowing yourself to be manipulated. The solar plexus chakra is about empowerment, personal empowerment, and usually, you know, when it comes to energetic manipulation, it always it seems to happen around that area. And so you're being asked to be aware of how, what you need in order to continue to feel empowered about your choice, your ideas, your brilliant idea, your career um, choices and opportunities, and knowing that you're safe. So clear your energy when you need to, but most important of all, take the reins, take your power back and move forward in full faith. You are safe. Have a fantastic year, Taurus. I have every faith in you as well, um, but you know it all depends on you and the actions that you take. And if you'd like a personal reading with me, the link is under the video. I've got my year ahead readings um, going now and um, you know that will be for a limited time. I don't tend to do those all throughout the year, usually. So, um, well, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Never say never. But, um, yeah, the link's under the video and I will do you a personal reading just specifically for you, your situation, your the energies around you at the moment and uh, looking at any questions that you want to ask as well. All right, so have a fantastic year and um, I'll see you uh, soon. Bye.